the smaller, wilder secret cousin of magazines would be an appropriate way to describe zines. So, if you want to make, buy or read all about zines, then you should definitely check out this place. So for those of us who don't know much about zines, what would be your best explanation for what they represent? This is a good example of a zine. Okay. It's $2.50, done on a photocopier. Uh, this one is quite a nice size, handwritten, very lo-fi, uh, cut and paste. This is the classic example of a zine really. Uh, this one is about a girl who was travelling indefinitely. In this particular episode she's moving around Iraq. So it's wow. a really amazing, amazing read. But zines can also look like this, which is a lot of short stories, whereas this is sort of personal sort of writing. Uh, short stories, it's bound with some gaffer and jute string. And we've got a bit of a variety here, which is what I noticed. Yes. Everything is, is completely different from the next. You never here. know what kind of zine you're going to find next or yeah. what it's going to be about. You have no idea. There was one recently and it was all about drawing moustaches on mm -hmm. people's faces in magazines. <laughs> that was the whole concept. Yeah. Love it. I guess the zine being the sort of wilder, you know, underground publication, what are the benefits of sort of having a zine out there in the public hands? Well, it's not going to reach that many people. Mm -hmm. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> uh, unless you have a free access to photocopier. Yeah. I think the benefits to Goblin magazine is it really, it's including World Cup information that you probably wouldn't get on television. Okay. That you wouldn't necessarily get in any other, the World Cup co coverage of Es Goblino and Gobliano's, you're not going to get that anywhere else. No. So that is the advantage to the zine. You don't have to have a publishing empire at your disposal. You don't even have sub-editors. You just do it yourself. So they can be creative as possible. You go nuts. Mm. Obviously, if you weren't, if you were making something for money rather than for love, then the success would be if you made a profit. Absolutely. Whereas that's not yeah. necessarily yeah. something that people aspire to. No one goes into zine making to make money because that's yeah. firstly not the aim, and also it's not. You're going to be impossible. losing money. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, success stories are. Even if it gets read. Yeah, be exactly. Yeah. yeah, this is the ultimate success story. <laughs> <laughs> and. For example, if I want to make a zine, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what sort of what's the process involved? Well, paper, mm -hmm. scissors, yep. pen, yep. maybe a stencil. Check. If you want to be a bit flat. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. Well, so all the name. best, guys. Thank, Thank you, very you much. I love this space. Yay! Great. And looking forward to seeing you soon. Yay! Thank me you. Cheers. <laughs>